Hey, happy Wednesday, hump day feels. So I just wanted to talk um, about nutrition a little bit, especially for those like April 1, April goals, you know, new month, fresh start. I love that April started on a Monday, April 1st started on a Monday. It's like April fools, but no, like legit, we're going to be crushing goals. I'm so excited to be in the test group and being a part of my fit family. And so whenever like you start that first week, getting back on track, you're going to be detoxing. And that's a struggle because you're going to want to quit even after like the first day or the second day. Like, why am I feeling like either having a headache or um, feeling like sluggish? Because, yo, you know, you're getting off of the processed foods. So this is just a reminder to myself. Like last night, last night I was talking to hubby and it was like in the evening time and I was like, I'm feeling like I'm a little bit hungry, like I'm craving. But and remember, you are not starving. Remove that word from your vocab vocabulary. That is a very negative word. There are people and children that are starving in the world. So you are not starving. So remove that. So let's just cut that word out. So at night, you know, of course, I was, you know, when you're a part of the cruise and you have access to all the shenanigans, guacamole and chips and drinks or whatever, all the sugar, um, you have to really be in tune and practice intuitive eating, of course, on that first day. Yeah, I wasn't really, I wasn't hangry. I was just a little hungry. Like my stomach was just like, hmm. So that first week, you're going to be like, I'm still kind of craving a little bit of sugar. I'm still kind of craving like salt or whatever. It's because you are detoxing and get rid of all of the like impurities and processed junk. And then also it's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. Like you don't need to go there. That's why that first week when you're prepping yourself, it's like get rid of all the junk in the house because out of sight, out of mind. Um, if you don't know, if you know it's not there, then you're not going to look for it because it's not there. So if you're on a health journey, first of all, get that crap out of your house because it's just too much temptation. Kind of like I made sure for the most part, I stayed away from the buffets on the cruise just because I know me. So... I really stuck to mostly eating at the actual restaurant and sitting down and enjoying conversation, having someone serve me food. So that's another tip for you also if you are on vacation. Try to stay, yeah, try to stay away. Yeah, definitely a better word. I'm star um, I'm hangry versus I'm starving. But um, stay away from, if you're on vacation, stay away from the buff buffets. You know, Vegas, I'm just saying, famous for buffets. But if you're on a cruise, or even if you are at like a resort, all inclusive, and you know that you 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 crush some goals just to even get in yourself in, into a bathing suit, good tip for you to stay away from the bu stay away from the buffets. Have enjoy the conversations. Go to restaurants where they're serving you food instead. Hey, so just know that you can do it. You can fight through the hard. Stay distracted that first week, like hot bath, hot tea, hydration. Um, you know, the stirs with like, you know, the flavored water, if you need to have an enhancer instead or stevia in your hot tea just to, you know, get over that craving, you can do it. You just have to mind over matter. You know, read a good book, um, lean in to an accountability partner, someone that who is on the same goals with you, not someone who's going to stroke your back and be like, it's okay, you can just have one thing. No, no, stay away from those people. Make sure you're checking in with someone who is on the same goals as you because they're going to hold you to it versus someone who's kind of one toe in and be like, no, it's okay. You can just have one bite. No, because if you know you, you're going to have one bite to turn into two bites to three bites. So stay away. Stay with someone who's going to lift you higher, give you the tough love, give you the encouragement and support because I know that I need it too. Don't don't think I don't struggle just like anybody else. I'm human. I just came back from a cruise. So last night I was hungry and I was telling hubby, I'm like, your like stomach expands. So it takes you a lot more food to make you feel full. So that first week you're like, you're eating less food. Um, you're eating cleaner food. So your stomach is like, gonna slowly start to shrink back to where it was versus when you're on vacation. Let me know if that makes sense. So Anyways, just wanted to give you those quick tips because I'm going to share this into my um, challenge group because they just started their first week of part of the test group. And then some people are just like getting back on track April 1, you know, new month, new goals, fresh start. So 
don't think that I don't struggle. Believe me, I lean in for support and accountability. I have my own online fit family and I have my own coach that and success partner that I lean into. So let me know if this helps. Make sure you know tag a friend. I'm gonna upload it to my T IGTV, maybe share the video because everyone needs accountability and support. There's a lot of people who are doing this alone and don't do it alone. You are not alone. So I love you guys. Thank you for being so supportive on my journey. It means the world to me. And they just announced as a brand new fresh test group starting. They announced it today. I'm so excited. So if now is your sign and you're ready to dial it in and ready to be like, I'm going to drop the excuses. This is my time. You know, let go of the naysayers and the negative mindset and the people are trying to put a, um, a wall or what is that called? A wedge in your goals because you are you and nobody lives inside of you. So, and they're not paying your bills. So decide to make your life matter, make your dreams count, make your aspirations. Just go for it. Take a leap of faith. And, you know, even if it's someone and doing something different that you've never done before, because if I can, you can too. I'll talk to you guys soon.